What is up, everybody? It's your boys, Donnie the Greatest, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you are new. And with the new Rashid character coming to Street Fighter 6 on July 24th, I thought I'd give my top five best Street Fighter characters, in my opinion, ranked from uh, best to worst. So here we go. First, I want to start off with saying that these are my personal opinions. Okay, so please, if you think there are characters that i left out or should have had in your top five please please let me know all right maybe this tells you what kind of player i really am all right now that that's out of the way this is the top five street fighter characters on my list ken is up first on the list ken was absolutely atrocious in street fighter 5 okay and i mean that was the, the hair everything just looked weird on him all right but overall ken had a massive overhaul in this new street fighter 6 but that's not the only reason Ken's moveset, people automatically compare it to Ryu. Rightfully so. I mean, there's like techniques that they have that are similar, but when you play like they, when you play them for real, they, they feel completely different. His moveset, in my opinion, is more aggressive. Ryu has aggression, if that makes sense. Like he has a lot of aggression uh, when it comes to like his moves, but he, he can be more conservative with his moveset. Ken is just straight like flinging at you like you know he's he's very aggressive with his playstyle and I feel like for people who want to get into Street Fighter and learn a different moveset aside from the normal uh, controls when it comes to modern if you want to get into like classic controls and stuff like that I actually do play on classic controls my main thing is modern but I'm trying to learn classic controls but I I just don't feel like tapping all them buttons man it's just it's just a this is a lot and I know I used to play I used to play it like Street Fighter 3 but I just, I guess I never was, I never was that good at it. So that's why I think I was never that, was that good. Cause I just couldn't get down with the, with the controls. It's just a lot of controls. But if you wanted to get into classic controls, I'd, I'd say Ken is a good starter to learn more controls and more moves that you could be a little bit more aggressive with some of the moves as well. And some of the combos are pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Overall, Ken's just an overall well-rounded character and his backstory pretty, pretty cool as well when it comes to learning about him in the world tour when you get into that so that's ken on top one on my list top two we have jp by far the most fun and entertaining entertaining characters when i play him i feel like i'm weiss from dragon ball i i swear it's like the staff the look and he's pimping on you he's straight whipping you he's straight grabbing you at the air his air control is really good he can um get you from underneath he can throw a demon at you he can slice you with it he can grab you and choke you his finish oh my gosh his finishing move is just just so elegantly done it's just one of the best characters in street fighter 6 hands down one of the most fun and entertaining characters in street fighter. if this is basketball he's alan iverson of the game all right as you know alan iverson one of the most entertaining ball players in the game i can he's he's it man he's it he's the answer a lot of he, he creates a lot of space you can really hold your spacing from this he's not so much an up close character but you could definitely play him up close he has a little bit more balance when it comes to that but his forte definitely is keeping you at bay and just hitting you whatever whatever comes out of the ground or the sky whatever another uh, tidbit i would like to add dc he's also a good character to start off with classic controls because he has a lot more control move sets when it comes to using all his techniques and stuff like that modern controls he is a very very limited player on modern controls although i do main him on modern i'm i definitely have tried to learn classic and it, it's going to take a little bit more work because he has a lot more move sets and a lot more stuff but it's fun to use so Next up on the list, we have Kimberly. I know some of my Twitter people are probably going to be so surprised that she's so low on this list. Because if you know, I worked my butt off with Kimberly, all right? And the problem was, I think I was learning her as the game went on when I first got the game. And I got to her with bronze. But by the time I got good enough, I don't know. I just I couldn't get out of bronze. I just could not get out of bronze with Kimberly. And when I did JP, I got gold my first 10 placement matches. That, that was how lit i was with jp so it kind of frustrated me but i didn't learn kimberly in enough time i just, re just rushed through her placement matches but with that being said she is by far the best in your face character and a great addition to the street fighter 6 roster she personally second on my list or sorry this is third on my list just because of how diverse her moveset is uh from everybody else she actually has just a special place where this is just creates the right amount of balance from going from the top tier list to this one because she is great on defense just as good as she is great on offense and she's just in your face she has that grit she has that fire she can get under you she can get over you she can get in you whoa she's very swift with her movement it's very very quick and precise if you want to have that 
in your face again aggression and all that uh conservative gameplay mixed with that aggressive style she, she's just very good at defense as well very good um especially when you use her third uh critical art or her third uh special art that gives you a big boost in strength so she's actually a character you're going to want to use that special art as quick quickly as possible as as soon as you can all right asap next up on the list is ryu he is fast quick and full of power he is who we know ryu to be i mean he's the og he's the staple of street fighter i mean you can't you can't you can't knock him off his throne man i mean I, granted we have a new face luke who's actually pretty decent we'll get into him in a second but ryu this is the classic classic street fighter character now he's top five but he's low on my list for the simple fact that in this one they kind of just you know i feel like they're kind of starting to copy and paste certain characters that you know that are older i'm not saying that he is a copy and paste we're gonna get into his moveset in a second but i'm saying it's right you know he's kind of that he's kind of that guy you're just like okay uh yeah i mean you're, uh, you're you're gonna be in it so just they like you already just just go ahead you know this, this is just like a go, go you, you there's nothing to do with you you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying it's, it's ryu everybody loves ryu. don't shake you don't you have to you don't have to do anything with ryu just in my opinion you don't have to do much with ryu but he's still top five he's he's the og he hasn't changed much but that that again that isn't a bad thing ryu is uh brings the raw essence of street fighter while the game itself seems to be taking a new direction as I said before, it's trying to take a new direction with the, especially the fighting style and other characters. This just gives you that, okay, no, this is still the classic now. Hold on. This is still, this is what you would get if you was in the classic street. You know what I'm saying? Ryu is that character you can adapt to any timeline. In my opinion, he's a great character to start learning combos with. Um, I found myself pulling off some of the most smooth combos, uh, especially after doing some of those combo trials with Ryu. And so, uh, yeah, I, I really appreciate them for just keeping him a solid all-around all character th throughout the years. And um, he, he, he hasn't really, you know, again, he hasn't really changed. His moveset, again, is similar to Kent, but it's still his. You know, he's got that lightning uh, burst uh, effect that he has that gives you a, a bit of a boost. And just it's all around done differently. They're two different characters with the same movesets. It's actually pretty cool. But uh, we're going to get into the next person on the list. Next person on the list is Luke. Luke is next on the list. Um, this just seems simply put one of the best uh, space closers in Street Fighter. He has a very, very aggressive style um, of play. Um, not your typical uh, martial arts. It's more like MMA style fighting. And it's, it's very neat to add in Street Fighter 6. It's actually pretty cool quality. He's kind of one of the people just like, Dude, like I don't, I don't forget all that. What you're doing right there, I'm, I'm just gonna punch you. I'm just gonna s grapple you and beat you into the ground. Literally, like literally speaking, like that's what he does, you know. And he's, he's again, he's great as closing space. He's great as creating space as well. He's got these, these little um, flame or spikes, like sparks that he throws when he punches his fist. It's actually pretty cool. Um, and he has a little bit more. He uses actually has an effect that he uses less more drive gauge. Uh, a little bit less more drive gauge than most characters do in the game he's got got a, got a little bit above a buff but again he's in the, he's in the top five because again this this is like my top five characters that i've been found to use that i've been more consistent with when it comes to fighting and i'm um, using them in games and um yeah that's my top five an honorable mention though i want to get on the list is cammy cammy is uh just the honorable mention because she's just very 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 diverse and aerial she's very she can grab you out the air with those thighs and just just slam you and just, it's, i've seen this game um like many times when people play her her moveset is virtually one of the best when it comes to air control and ground control uh, i love her when she twirls around and just 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 grabs you in, in the sky she can grab you underneath like she's just very 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 close to like a style where kimberly is one thing is she's not really up like running up in your face she's kind of she kind of can just use her moves to get to you like she does one move and she's there like she can spike towards you and she can jump up and spike you down like just just it's just crazy it's it, her moveset is very diverse when it comes to the air and ground so i don't want to give her a very 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 special honorable mention because of that all right guys this was my top five street fighter six characters ranked let me know if you want me to do another section where i do another five or another top five or no you know my the rest or top 10 so i can give you guys the rest of this again add some more characters or something like that just let me know your ideas rashid 
comes to Street Fighter, Street Fighter 6, July 24th. Make sure you got your fighter coins and all that good saved up. Finish that fighter pass. It's going to get on and pop it. Let's get it.